I'm in my era right now where I'm having my low self-confidence period. Does anyone get that? Like they'll be super confident and super happy and then all of a sudden they'll wake up one day and just feel like s-h-i-t that's where i'm at right now i don't want to do anything i don't want to speak to anyone until i feel like myself again i don't really like driving with a coat on so first stop of the day i'm gonna go get my hair done i've not had my hair done since july we're in desperate need of my hair doing i also need my ends doing because we're still in basil brush territory and we're just gonna see where the day takes us i'm just gonna do things that make me happy you know that genuine serotonin so first stop is my hair oh my gosh that was a close one Ooh. i'm hoping we pass some sort of coffee shop this journey is gonna be about an hour so i thought what better time than to listen to the Drake album. Why they make it sound like I'm still home? It's really get carried up. Can I also just mention that it's 10 a.m. and I'm blasting Drake? like that i've just realized that i look like mia thromopolis from princess diaries but the before with the frizzy hair the glasses so hopefully by the time i come out of the hairdressers i look like the after so long overdue my color just feels so much fresher i had a treatment on as well so that's why it's got like this extra shine and i also had my hair cut finally i've not had my hair cut in a long time i feel like i got low-key ptsd the last time i had my hair cut because she cut so much off so i'm gonna go and drive to the traffic center i don't know why i just decided that I want to go to the traffic center i'm going to take myself out for some lunch i kind of ate a little bit at catherine's because she always she always brings out a really cute lunch which is nice but i need to eat like a meal so that was like a starter currently eating a toffee crisp as well a little chalky I'm gonna go do some shopping. Guys, we have a sponsorship for today's video and that is Jim King because they've just launched their brand new Peach Lux set and what I tell you, I am obsessed with these gym sets. I've been wearing them so much recently. You've probably seen me wearing these on vlogs because I don't just wear them to the gym. I wear them to lounge around, I wear them to run errands, I literally wear them all the time. They're so comfortable and the way they make your body look, in fact, let me, let me pull you down a little bit. The way they just contour your body and fit your body is insane. The material almost feels a little bit like peach fuzz. I guess that's why it's called peach Lux, but it's really thick and I really like the shape. So this actually comes in four colors. This is obviously the black one. This green one, it's kind of like a sage green. It's probably my favorite, especially for this time of year. I really love this color. I actually left the padding in the bra for this one. I can't remember whether I mentioned, but the top actually comes with pad in i did take it out on the black but i've kept it in here just to show you i mean it doesn't really change the shape too much it just offers that extra bit of support i really like that the leggings are high-waisted as well because i just think that's so flattering and they also pass the squat test this is another color that they do. They have this blue color, which I really love as well. I love that the colors are a little bit more muted, so they're more wearable for every day. But again, love the way the branding is just really minimal. It feels like butter on the skin is the only way I can explain it. And then last but not least, we also have the brown set, which I'm actually gonna be wearing today. So they're all of the new peach look sets from Jim King. Literally my new favorite sets, especially for the leggings. The leggings are what make it for me like they're just so comfortable i love that they're high-waisted and what makes these sets even better is that they're made from 80 percent recycled material they're the new jim king peach Lux set so i'm going to leave a link to jim king in the description box so you guys can check them out and i highly recommend checking them out because these gym sets really need to prioritize getting a car because there is something 
so soul curing about having your favorite songs on and blasting them while you're driving and singing so loud that only cats can hear you that's not even the right saying is it just got to the Trafford Centre there are a few bits that I need so I can't remember whether I said but I'm actually going to LA next week so I wanted to pick up some bits for that I also want to go and get some stationery one thing that I do need to start doing is organizing my weeks a little bit better I feel like because I'm not really organized that's why I'm in a bit of a rut so I'm a sucker for stationery so I'm gonna go and get a diary and some cute stationery bits obviously my first stop was Cowan Selfridges which is like a little vintage pop-up there's some really fire pieces I've got this cropped denim Calvin Klein jacket i've got this leather dress i think this is i really hope this looks how i think it's gonna look on i've got this top which usually isn't my style but i'm gonna try it because i really like this feature at the bottom I've got a dicky skirt some dickies shorts and i don't know what brand this is but look at these jeans this is the dicky skirt i feel like it's a little big and i probably have it tailored but i really love the shape of this in autumn winter with some boots I'm really undecided on this piece. I do like it. It's a little bit shorter than I wanted it because I did want to wear it as a dress. I just think it makes me look a little bit boxy. kind of need it to sit more like that. So I think this one's a miss. These ones are also a miss. I didn't try this on because I'm suddenly thinking this definitely isn't very me. And I put one leg in the jeans and just knew. Also the Calvin Klein jacket. I love it. I know this is going to be a hit and miss, but I actually think it looks really cute. I think with like a cute lace bra underneath. I ended up getting the jacket and the skirt and my girl math is because I'm shopping vintage I'm saving the planet or I'm helping save the planet even. I don't want to get distracted by clothes which I always do so I'm going to make my way to Paper Chase. I always loved their stationery it's a little bit pricey but like I said I'm a sucker for stationery and I will pay it. I kind of like the idea of this one where I can just write down all my to do's for every day of the week and I like that it's open as well so I can just I don't know, like, look at it every day. I think I want one of these planners as well, just to carry in my bag, because I like that they've got a doodles page, because I always end up doodling on them. So I think I'm going to get this as well, just for, like, each day. We've made a few impulse buys, as always. I feel like this was bound to happen. But I'm kind of hungry now, so I'm going to go and take myself for some lunch. I'm going to go to, like, the little food court bit and see what's there. just want something quick and easy. I also am starving. Since when did the Trafford Centre have a Bath and Body Works? The nostalgia right now is crazy. I remember being like 15 watching American YouTubers reviewing Bath and Body Works candles. This one's gingerbread marshmallow. I think it was Jaclyn Hill that really sold me on Bath and Body Works you're coming home with me they've also got winter candy apple Ooh, it's good but it's not giving christmas this one is hot cocoa and cream i feel like i'm gonna like this one that smells like a hot chocolate that is absolutely enough damage for one day thank you very much i'm really hoping i miss the rush hour traffic it's currently like four o'clock so i think i might actually be okay because the traffic in manchester at the minute it's trying to compete with London, I swear. It literally took me so long to get home then. What was usually like a 15 minute drive was a 45 minute drive. But we're home and I'm going to start planning the rest of my week. I mean, today's actually Wednesday. So we're already midway through the week. But one thing that I never do is I never feel like I have to start something on a Monday or on a Sunday. But if I want to start something, for example, a diet, I won't wait till Monday. I'll just start it when I want to start it. So from tomorrow, from Thursday, bit of a random day to start, but... There we go. We're gonna start being productive again and I'm gonna get my life in order because I feel like at the minute I'm drowning in work and just everything. It's literally just because I'm not planning my days very well. I cannot get into this. What's that saying? Plan, fail to plan, plan to fail. So I'm gonna organize my week. I'm actually in London tomorrow. I wanna get something sorted in the morning. Cross off Monday, Tuesday, 
and we'll cross off Wednesday because this is the day that we're getting our shit together. I've also got this one, which is just more of like a daily diary. So I guess I can write a little bit more about each day on this one. But tell me I'm not the only one that just gets so overwhelmed and I don't know what it is about writing it down. It just helps me so much. I feel like that's why journaling works for me and like why it works for so many people because I think sometimes when you're trying to store so much information in your head, it can just sometimes feel so overwhelming. Whereas when you write it down, it's almost like when you tell someone, you know, like when they say a problem shared is a problem halved. I feel like when you write it down, it just frees up a little bit of brain space. I don't know, that's just how I work anyway. I feel like if I write something down, it's like gone from my brain, it's out there and I can concentrate on something else. The fridge is also looking a little bit sparse for my liking. I literally have condiments, protein shits and a bit of deli meat so I need to go and do a food shop. I have such a love-hate relationship with food shopping. I really enjoy it sometimes but then other times I view it like a bit of a chore which is why I've probably not done one for ages. I think the last big food shop that I did was on the vlog which was like two vlogs ago. So I've not done a big food shop in a while which means I have been ordering a lot and I've been making do with like super noodles and stuff, but I feel like I need to go and get a little bit of food in. I'm not going to go over the top like I usually do because like I said, I'm going to LA next week, but I do just need some bits for over the weekend. Okay, the good news is that I dragged myself back out to Marks and Spencer's to do a food shop, but the bad news is I came out in slippers. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. I literally noticed in the car and I was like, there's no going back now. I also got a basket because I don't want to get tempted to overbuy, which I always do. I always get carried away when I come food shopping. Although because I had Nando's, I'm not really that hungry because we all know when you come food shopping, when you're hungry, you want everything in sight. I'm already feeling so much more organized now. Now I've done a little food shop, I've got some things in for dinner and I've got some things in for the next few days. I also had to run into Aldi because these drinks, they're so good. I'm literally hooked on them. So if you've never tried them from Aldi, I'll do a little food haul for you all. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, this just looks like a bunch of snacks again. Let's talk about these. These are the Cookie Dunkers. They're new from Marks and Spencers. And these are the most delicious biscuits on the planet. Malted milk biscuits dipped in chocolate. But the shape of them, let me show you. They're like the perfect shape to dip in whatever you like to dip your cookie in. So I got some of those. The best banana cake ever from a supermarket. Some mango, pineapple and melon. Some veg, kimchi and fresh pickled onions. Calamari and these came for like three for eight pounds, I think it was. I got a king prawn Alfredo because I really can't be bothered cooking tonight. Like I just wanna chill and watch Gilmore Girls. So I thought a creamy pasta, with prawns, sounds delicious. Some lettuce, some chicken, tortillas. I got some baking stuff because that's one thing that I've not had in this apartment since moving in. I literally just binned all my baking stuff because there was only like little bits left. So I got some caster sugar, some brown sugar, some flour and some eggs. So I think I might even make some cinnamon rolls at some point, maybe this evening. Parmesan, avocados, oyster sauce, cotton candy grapes. These from Marks and Spencer's are an absolute must. I also get these as a putting away the food shop snack. I got a little yogurt and a bell pepper. So that should do me until I go to a <laughs> I'm done for the day. It's weird because I literally just said I don't want to cook but I want to bake. Don't get me wrong I do enjoy cooking but I just I find baking so therapeutic so I'm going to find a recipe for some cinnamon rolls. Let's have a look on TikTok. TikTok never does me wrong with recipes and I've actually got baking stuff in now so 
It says that this recipe takes 40 minutes.